Hey guys, it's been a long time and it's been a long time since I made one of these videos. Um, it's something different than a game video, but just to recap on things, yes, I have been away for a week, I think, or I don't know how long, more than a week, but um, just to keep you updated, because I know I haven't updated my website, because, you know, like I'm saying again, um, I've started university, so, you know, have some time, have less time on my hands, you know, to do these type of things. I do try to make videos, but I don't end up, um, you know, posting them on YouTube. I do have them stored there. So, um, in the next couple of days, if you see this video online, you will see maybe three or four more videos posted up, and some of them will be videos I made like, you know, last year. So, just to keep you on that. Anyways, I've been getting some emails on how do I get good quality in my videos. Well, obviously, I don't have the best quality, you know, when you just watch it straight out. you got to really click the HD button and then you get a decent quality in the gaming. But that also depends on the camera you're capturing on. Um, if you're capturing your face, uh, it's better to have some really good lighting on your face. Um, you know, natural light from the sun is the best way. Not facing your face, but um, obviously in the backdrop. But having um, screen capture Okay, that's a different story. So, away from gaming stuff recording on your digital camera or your DV camera, um, like again, that depends on the quality of it. So, I'll show you how to export that anyways. But capturing uh, on your laptop, PC, whatever. So far, I'm using, I don't know if you watch my videos, ScreenFlow. So far, that's working great for me because I can edit it also within the time span instead of you know editing, exporting it to another software and etc. Well if we just jump into that, um, I did like a three second clip. Basically obviously when you see here it looks extremely good. I mean I must be up myself but it looks really clear. But obviously if I just jump in um so if you remember three seconds of HD when I was trying to get the HD button to come down below here, it was so frustrating. But obviously, we play it, doesn't really look good. I have no clue what's down there. Um, yeah, cannot see anything. So, I'm, I'm still trying to tweak it so you can still play it in normal quality and still get you know a decent you know image. But obviously, if you go in HD, you're going to get a massive resolution, um, great quality. I mean, there's no different, it looks exactly the same down here. So obviously it's going to take a little bit of more loading time. If you don't have a really fast internet, um, it's going to take you, you know, much more. But um, that's the thing you got to do. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So we'll just close these. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload something like this, and then you're going to get that HD button there. It's not too complicated, um, but it's pretty easy. So this works basically on anything. I mean, same same settings. Okay. So this is a video also for ScreenFlow. Because I haven't seen much videos out there basically on the screen for how to get the HD. Um, I've seen it for some other weird capturing device. So, let's get into this. So, now we're going to export this video. So, once you do your editing in the screen flow, um, so disable resize it. What am I doing? I just want that in the example, okay? So, just click apply. And then click export. Once you hit, once you click export, choose your save as name. So we say capture. Oops. Okay, now say to desktop. That's probably easiest. Now present. Okay, click on there, and you have all these different options down here. Um, I usually go um, best quality. That's probably the best. So as you see, they just changed. That's because I did customize it. So obviously we want web. So I haven't yet tried these ones, but um, I might do that actually. So we did it customize. Okay, so we'll jump into settings. Make sure it's H two six four, um, H dot two six four. That's probably the best um compression type you could get out there. I mean, it's the most common really, and you know, good for web and everything. Um, frame rate. Okay, what you want to do there, um change it to 24 so that's obviously down there so then and data rate uh, just put that automatic ok 
Okay, usually up here the compressor, mm, just leave it at high. That usually does the best job. Obviously, obviously, if they restrict to a certain amount of kilobits per second, you can restrict to streaming or CD, or whatever. But we'll just leave it on die rate for automatic. So once you click that, um, don't really need filter. Filter is just some effects you want in the video, so don't click that. <laughs> okay, size. This is where it gets not too complicated, but where people get really lost. Okay, you gotta jump all the way down here. Okay, HD one twenty one two eighty by seven twenty. Um, ratio 16 by 9 okay not the power one not even this one I'm not sure I haven't even tried that so just go like this because it works okay and then just click OK sound settings I realize that some people have been getting their audio out of tune um, when they click HD so I found it to be if I click on my audio and I go 128 kilobits per second I have no clue but I've just been told that and it's been working for me so far. So okay. Uh, up here also, if you just, I think this usually is unticked, but if you just click that, and then prepare for internet streaming. So fast start. And once that's all done, export. Um, it does take quite a while sometimes on some on most videos. Um, I think I did something wrong, but. Yes, I did. Okay, this is a game where it gets really complicated. Although you do set the dimensions um, for HD, you have to change the settings right here too because it automatically sets it uh, to a custom size. So even if you go 100, that's not what you want. So scale size custom. Just type in the dimensions again by 720, and that's all you need to do. Okay, replace it, and you're gonna see the export take. Oh, you can't really tell now, but usually, for me, in my most 10-minute videos, it takes at least half an hour. No joke. So be prepared. Be prepared for that. So once that all done, we we'll just quit this. Oh, let's don't save. Let's take a look. So that's pretty good. And that's the exact dimensions I think. I mean it's just giving me a decent look, it's not really. Yeah, you can see it's much more bigger because it's set for the um HD quality. Anyways, so that's how to make a HD video. So remember the three points I'll put on the side. Uh dimensions is um one uh one twenty eighty. No, 1280 by 720. Um, the encoding is H.264. And what else? I actually completely forgot. And some other thing I'll put it down. And anyway, look towards your right. Anyways, there'll be another video shortly. Um, I think I'll link it to this um, on my website. I haven't really explained people about my new website, but we'll check it out.